Uh, my name is Tim Simone. I'm the VP of Sales for Informa Market Engineering. Welcome to a quick training video on the Battery Show and EV Tech Digital Day, which takes place um, 1110 through 1112. The show is doing great in terms of pre registrants. We've got about 4,000 so far, and we're going to take you through one of the most critical things that you can do to be successful in that event, which is inviting people before the live event takes place. That is something that is very, very important. And um, in terms of setting up in the most ROI, you really want to be able to do this. So we're going to drive you through how to do that right now. I'm here with my team, Don, Huxley, and Jenny. And Don is going to show you how to set up a meeting. Great. Thanks, Tim. All right. So we're going to start here in the home page of the web app. Um, so in order to set up a meeting with another attendee, you're just going to go over to the meet other attendees tab. Click on that. Uh, something to point out that anyone with the green dot means they are in the platform right now. So you can maybe make a live connection. Otherwise, you can send a meeting invite and they'll get it when they get into the platform. So here we'll make as an example, a meeting with Jenny. So I'm going to click on Jenny's profile and here's all the times. Uh, there's all the times that Jenny's going to be available to meet. So I'll set up a meeting, let's say for 1220. Um, we're going to use a virtual room and I can say, hi Jenny, would love to meet. And I send the meeting request. And then Jenny's gonna receive a notification on her end, letting her know that she has a meeting pending and that uh, it sits here, as you can see on her profile, that there is a pending meeting with Jenny until she confirms. Great, and Don, you can also search for attendees too. So while you saw Jenny, who was happened to be on the profile, uh, actually on the platform live, you can also do a search um, by the filters that we have below: job, function, industry type. You can actually search for a specific company and invite those people as well, even if they're not on the platform at the moment. They'll get a notification of that. Okay, so I wanted to jump into uh, one other quick topic for this training video. And that's leads. Obviously, everybody cares the most about leads. That's how you really measure in general your ROI from something like a virtual event or even a physical event. There are two buckets of leads that you're going to get. One is going to be leads that are happening during the actual live virtual event, right? And those are going to be based on connections. I'll get to that in a second. And then the second set of leads are going to be leads that are given to you post the virtual event. And that's going to be based on a variety of behaviors that attendees take during the, the live virtual event. So the first bucket is connections. What is a connection? A connection is when you or somebody else like an attendee reaches out and tries to engage with you during the live event. That would be chatting with you via the IM feature or inviting you to meet over video. Um, and we just actually reviewed how to invite someone to meet, so we won't do that again. But anybody that takes place in those behaviors, you know, chats with you or you chat with them or invite you to meet or invite uh, or they invite you to meet. Either way, you'll get that lead live during the event to be able to score that lead. Now, what happens post the event? is um, there's a variety of behaviors that people take during the event and those are going to be provided to you after those things are like who visited your booth um, or we look, looked at one of your products attended a session that you're sponsoring if you have an ad on the platform anybody that clicked on that ad or reviewed a document that you have in your profile for instance, a video or a white paper. Any of those behaviors that take place during the live event um, are not provided for you during the live event, but they are sent to you after the live event. You'll be able to see the names, the companies, the titles, the email address, phone if it's available, and how that lead came, either through visiting your, your booth or product. So it would actually be great if, um, Dawn, you could actually do show us um, if someone, how actually you can see the the uh, leads during the live event. Okay, let me take you back here. So now this is the main page, but I, since I am in here as an exhibitor, um, I do have a notification here. So I'm going to go into the notification, 
And this is showing me as an exhibitor, because um, I'm listed as an, um, a member of our sales booth. So as an exhibitor, it's showing me all the people who have requested meetings and any new contacts that I have in my space. So this will be your window here to go in and you can cancel a meeting, accept a meeting, um, see more details about that meeting. This one's telling me I don't have any more. The exhibitor, I think I removed the test exhibitor, so he's no longer there. But this is where the window where you'll go ahead and manage all of those meetings. If I want to see more about Jenny's invite, this will kind of give me a little bit more information here about the request that has come in. And I can go ahead and reply to Jenny. And I can also assign this. Let's say Jenny's not in my market, but she's in someone else's on my team. I can go ahead and search other team members and assign Jenny to another team member so that when they're in the booth, they can follow up with Jenny. So it gives you the ability to go ahead and uh, modify those as they come in. Great. Yeah, and so that is the end of our very quick training video on how to uh, set up meetings before you enter the live physical, sorry, the live virtual event. Thank you very much.